art friends welcome to today's how to today we'll be learning how to draw knuckles the dread so first we'll get started in towards the top of the page and we're going to start by drawing in the pirate hat so over on the left hand side in the middle we're going to curve this line all the way around and then in towards the center and then we're going to bring this all the way up and over towards the right ending it at the same height moving over towards the left side now we're going to curve this line out and over towards the left and then starting back on our line on the right hand side, we're going to curve this all the way out and over towards the right. From here now, we're going to bring this line in on the side, curving that around and then in. And flipping over to the left, we're going to replicate that again. Coming directly in towards the center again now, we're going to start on the bottom and we're going to curve this line up towards the top, bringing that down on the left. And then moving over to the right hand side, we're going to curve this line up and then all the way over and down towards the right. Moving up in towards the middle now, we're going to draw a curved line from left to right. And now we're gonna frame in some detail in the hats. On the left-hand side, we're going to bring our line up towards the top, and we'll do the same thing over on the right. From here now, we're going to bring our lines in on a diagonal towards the top on both sides. Now from here, we're going to curve this line around towards the bottom and then starting back on that center line, we're going to curve this all the way up and then over towards the right, connecting it on that line. Now we're going to come in and frame in the rest of the head. So over on the left hand side, we're going to continue this line by curving it around and then we're going to curve this up towards the top. Moving over towards the right, we'll replicate that. So we're going to bring this over, curving that around, and then in, bringing that back up and over on the right-hand side. From here now, we're going to curve this line down. And we'll do the same thing over on the left. Behind this now, on the right-hand side, we're going to curve this line up and then down. And we'll do the same thing moving over to the left. So we're going to curve this out and then all the way down towards the bottom. Now from here, we're going to curve this back up, arching this all the way around and back in towards the side. And we'll do the same thing, flipping this over on the right, curving that around and then in. Moving in towards the middle now, over on the left, we're going to curve this line down, arching this all the way across and then out and then back up. Moving over to the right, we'll replicate that. So starting at the same height, we're going to curve this around, bringing this all the way in and then arching that back up and over on the right. Now moving further out on either side, we're going to replicate that. So curving this down, following that shape, arching it around, and then joining it at the point there on the side. And we'll flip over to our right-hand side and replicate that again. We'll move in here now and draw in the face. So on the bottom, we're going to draw a curved line from left to right to close off the bottom of the face. Moving up a little bit higher now, on the left-hand side, we're going to arch our line down, up in the middle, arching it back down on the right and then out and over. Over on the right hand side now, we're going to arch this line out on a diagonal and then moving over to the left, we're going to bring this line up and then arching it back down and in towards the side. Moving over to the right hand side now, we're going to draw in the eyeball. So we're gonna draw a small oval shape and then moving back inside of that, we're going to replicate that again one more time. Moving over to the left hand side now, we're going to draw an even bigger oval shape. And then moving inside of that one, we're going to draw an even smaller oval shape again. Coming in towards the middle now, we'll draw in the nose. So we're going to draw a small arch line in the center. And then now from here, we're just going to draw the letter V to close that off. Moving over further to the right, we're going to frame in the mouth. So on the left-hand side, we're going to arch this line all the way up and over towards the right. And now underneath, we're going to close this off with a curved line from left to right again. In the middle now, on the left-hand side, we're going to bring our line in, draw the letter V, and then bring it back up. And then on the right, we'll replicate that, bringing our line in, drawing the letter V, bringing that back up. And now we're going to close this off in the middle by drawing a curved line right in the center. We'll move underneath now and frame in our arm and our hands first, and then we'll frame in the rest of the head underneath. So moving over towards the left side first, we're going to bring a diagonal line that comes out. Moving over further towards the top, we're gonna to replicate that. On the bottom now, we're going to curve this line up, bringing this all the way across and then back down. 
And now we'll frame in the hand. So on the top portion here, we're going to curve our line around for the thumb, bringing this all the way over and across. Now from here on the top, we're going to arch this line all the way around, bringing this all the way over towards the right. And now we're going to close this off by drawing a curved line that comes back up towards the top. Over on the left hand side, now we're going to curve this line around and then bringing that down on the side. Over in the middle here, we're going to draw a curved line from left to right. And now moving underneath, we're going to draw in two small triangles. We're going to flip over to the right side and replicate this. So moving over to the right, we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out. Moving further over towards the top, we'll replicate that again. Now from here on the bottom, we're going to bring our line up all the way across and then back down. Moving over towards the top here now, we're going to curve our line up, bringing this all the way through and then down. Now back on the top line here, we're going to curve this all the way around and then down towards the left. And then now from here, we're going to close this off with a curved line. Moving over towards the top now, we're going to bring our line across and then down and over on the left. And now moving in towards the top here, we're going to draw a curved line from left to right. And then again, coming underneath, we're going to draw two small triangle shapes. Now we'll close off this portion. So we're going to curve this line all the way around and then in. And then moving over to the left, we'll replicate that again. We're going to add some small details in here now. So over on the right hand side, we're going to curve a line that comes down, dropping a little bit lower. We're going to do that again. Moving in towards this one now, we're going to curve this line around and then over. Moving in towards the middle, curving it around and then over again. And then dropping down one more time, we're going to curve this around and then up towards the top. Moving further down, we're going to close this off with a curved line one more time. Moving back in here now, we're going to draw another curved line from left to right, dropping a little bit lower, replicating that. And then coming over towards the bottom, we're going to draw another arch line. And then do that again one more time. Flipping over to the left, we'll replicate that. We're drawing two small arch lines on the bottom. We'll move up higher and curve that from left to right again. Moving over towards the left, we're going to draw another curved line, dropping a little bit lower, replicating that. And now coming a little bit lower, we're going to do that two more times. Moving over towards our top one now, we're just going to draw a curved line on the top and then coming in towards the bottom and arching that in towards the side. Let's come in underneath now and frame in the body. So over on the left hand side, we're going to draw another arch line from left to right. In the middle here now, we're going to draw in a small circle. And then moving in towards the middle, we're going to draw another small circle right in the center. On the left, we're going to curve this line up and in, and we'll do the same thing over on the right. Now coming in over towards the left, we're going to bring a diagonal line that comes down. And then moving over towards the right, we'll replicate that again. Over on the left hand side, we're going to bring a straight line that comes down, doing the same thing over on the right. And now we'll close these off by drawing in two diagonal lines on either side. Over on the right hand side now, we're going to draw in another diagonal line, doing the same thing over on the left. On the top portion here now, we're going to draw in another diagonal line coming down and we'll do the same thing over on the left again. And now in this portion here, we're going to draw some squares. So we're going to bring our line up all the way across and then back down, dropping a little bit lower, replicating that again. And we're going to flip over to the left and do that one more time. So bringing our line up, down, and then back in, and then up down and then all the way back in. In the middle portion here now, we're going to draw in the letter V. And dropping a little bit lower, we're going to do that one more time, but we're going to point it up this time. So it's gonna be upside down. And now right in the center, we're going to draw a straight line. Moving directly down towards the middle, we're going to draw in a small arch line. On the left-hand side, we're going to bring our diagonal line out and we'll do the same thing over on the right. Now moving over towards the left, we're going to bring another diagonal line that comes down, ending at the same height, and we'll do the same thing over on the right. And then now from here, we're going to close this off with a curved line on both sides. We're going to come in and frame in the feet now. So on the left, we're going to bring our line out and then all the way down towards the bottom. And then 
Over on the right side, we're going to replicate that again. Moving further over to the right side now, we're going to bring this line out and then down. And then moving over to the left, we'll replicate that, ending it at the same height. Now from here on the left side, we're going to curve this line all the way around and then back down. And on the right hand side, we're going to curve this all the way around and then back down again, ending this at the same height. And then now from here, we're gonna close this off with a curved line on both sides. Coming up a little bit higher now, we're going to replicate that, curving that from left to right. And now we'll draw in some straps on top. So over on the right hand side, we're going to curve this line up towards the top, moving towards the left, replicating that. We're going to do that one more time. And now over on the bottom, we're going to draw a diagonal curved line that comes out and then moving in towards the middle, replicating that again. We'll flip over to the left and draw that one more time. So in the center here, drawing a curved diagonal line that comes down, moving further over to the right, we're going to do that three times in total. And now coming out towards the left, we're going to draw another curved diagonal line and then bringing that line all the way down and in towards the bottom. And that is it. That's how you draw Knuckles the Dread. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel, and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial, and I'll see you all on the next one.